This morning, we are taking a closer look at a new project the University of South Florida is leading. It's aimed at transforming how health, health experts diagnose and treat diseases. Yeah, and they hope it will lower the cost of going to the doctor's office. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott live from USF this morning with more on how they're doing this, Larissa. Oh, well, Chad, researchers here at USF are working on this study to help change the future of medicine by using just the human voice and artificial intelligence. This, for example, is a voice box. Dr. Um, Yael Ben Susan is the director of USF Health Voice, voice Center. And we know that voice has been linked to diseases um, for a long that time. And that's the purpose behind a new study being led by US Health and Ben Susan, along with Cornell Medicine, using the human voice to diagnose and treat diseases and mood disorders like depression. So we know, for example, when we talk about neurological disease, people that have strokes, the way they speak changes. Um, the articulation doesn't work as much as, as before. Similar voice changes happen when someone has cancer, like this patient. We were away a year ago. We ate eggs every Easter. People that have Alzheimer's, the content of their speech changes. People that has par have Parkinson, um, the way they talk can be slower, can be lower. Rainbow is a division of white light many beautiful colors. And this is a tool that helps. One of the goals is demonstrating physicians can use the small changes in a patient's here, voice to diagnose diseases um, instead of a CT scan or blood test, test, for example, example, meaning you could spend less at the doctor's office. I think voice as a biomarker is the, the cheapest biomarker that exists. Uh, so when we think about different biomarkers like genetic information, it's something where we have to take blood of people. Uh, we have to ask them to do swabs. There's, it's very resource intensive to analyze. Usually costs about uh, $1,000 just to analyze the samples. The sun like strikes raindrops in the air. They With voice, like Ben Susan says patients could easily just record themselves and send it to their doctor. Uh, you could do it out of your, your cell phone. You could do it in remote communities. You don't necessarily have to be in a big center with a lot of resources. I did okay. But. Researchers are also creating a database of patient voices to teach artificial intelligent programs what to listen for, even just tiny differences that can warn of serious health conditions. Once we're able to prove that there's really a link with voice and diseases, and it's been proven at a smaller level, um, I think it's really going to change the way um, we help people. And we have more information for you about this study on ABCActionNews.com. I'm live in Tampa this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.